What's going on guys? It's your boy Brendan from Modern To Me, and today we're going to be talking just a little bit more about input. Just, um, just a little bit more. And, yeah. Let's get started. Let's just do it. So we still have our import java.util.scanner. So we still have our scanner ready to go. Still ready to be ready to be used. So let's just recap how we make a scanner. Type the variable name. And then we name our variable. We'll just name it input again. And that is equal to new. You're creating a new instance of this scanner class. And this is scanning system.in. So remember, it's just getting input. That's all it's doing. It's just an input input class that is going to help you get access to the keyboard. OK, so last tutorial, we just talked about getting integers. And getting doubles and floats is the same thing, except instead of doing input dot uh, next int, you do input dot next float or input dot next double. It's the same thing. I don't think I. I'm sure you guys are smart enough, I don't really have to go through that again. But what I didn't really talk about is strings. And strings are pretty much the same thing, just a little bit different, so I just wanted to touch on that. So if we had a string, and we wanted to get the, uh, well actually, let's here, let's do things linearly. System.out.print, I'm just gonna do print again, we talked about print instead of print ln, because it kind of looks nicer if we just do, if we do print. So we'll type, what is your name? And we'll leave a space. I'm typing a, spi a space here, a spice, a space here, so that the user doesn't kind of like get confused. It looks kind of icky if you don't have that space there. Okay, and now we'll create a string name and set that equal to input dot next uh, input dot next line. And what that does is that actually grabs the whole line and converts it into a string, and then it returns that string. So you can set this string class equal to input dot next line. Sounds good. Sounds great. Okay, what we're going to do now is just kind of test our test our little program with system dot out dot print f, and clear this out of here. Hopefully, you guys remember the print f function where you can format strings. So what we'll do is we'll say Higher uh, percent s. This percent s, if you remember, is looking for a string. And then we, you can you can even like with these formatting, you can even type like an exclamation point right after, and it's going to format perfectly. It's going to eliminate this percent s and put that string in there. And we'll just say, "How are you?" And then after this first string, we're going to type a comma, and then we are going to put in our variable name, which is coincidentally just name and finish that off with a semicolon and there's one other thing I didn't touch on last tutorial that I meant to you see you might be getting this warning here if you hover over this it says resource link leak excuse me input is never closed so what you usually have to do with input and output classes in Java and most other programming languages as well you have to open them by right here we're essentially creating it opening it but then you have to close them off so you don't get leaks. Like if this stream of input, like figurative water, it can leak a lot more easy, more easily. If that makes any sense, you just essentially you need to know that you need to close off this input. So you do that just by typing input dot close, and that's all you have to do. And then that warning's going to go away, and things are going to be a lot better for you just in case, just to be safe. It's good practice to do that. Okay, now let's try out our program. Control F11. What is your name? My name is Billy Bob Joe the or the third. There we go. Enter. Hiya, Billy Bob Joe the third. How are you? Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. We can make a robot that greets people in Java. We are good to go. Maybe not quite, but we're on our way. We're we're doing good. So that's just a little bit more with input. And there's one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Something I just kind of want to clear up, and it's going to help me lead into classes. It doesn't really have to do anything with input. But I said that a scanner is a class, and as is a string. A string is a class. And I said that you always type this new variable when you want to create a string. Well, when we've been creating strings, we've just been doing string name, and we could set this equal just to like a string. We haven't been typing this, this new key, this keyword called new. 
Well, actually, you can do that too. You can do string name is equal to new, and then type the, the uh, string, and then in parentheses, you, you have that created, and this is a new string. We created a string, it's the same thing. And actually, you can pass in a parameter that is the, uh, the value of the string. So we could type in like uh, Billy, and if we do system dot out dot dot print ln, if we print out this this name variable, I accidentally took out this input dot close. I know we don't use it right here, but just bear with me. If we print this out, we get Billy. So this is another way to create a string. And actually, you could even do if you wanted. Let me show you real quick. If you type input dot next line right within this thing and yep that, that should do it you can actually create the string this way and embed this input this input instance right within the method the constructor i should say of the string so it's just another uh it's just the other syntax both work the reason why string you don't always have to use this new keyword is because string is such a widely used class it's it has its own little syntax for it if you want to, but it's string is a unique class. String is really, um, as far as I'm aware, at least one of the at least one of the only classes that has something that is so unique to it like that. All other classes are created with this new keyword, and you can do the same with string. So let's run this real quick. If I type Brendan is the bomb and hit enter, it prints it out again. And if you take a look back at the program. That's actually all we had to do. It just got the input, you typed in what you want the variable to be, and it just spits it right back out at you. But that is other syntax that works as well. Next tutorial, I'm not quite sure what we'll be touching on, but I'm sure it's going to be great. So I'm going to see you guys there.